came of age at a time where I literally have seen you guys do about 25,000 interviews. So I was wondering what in this movie we will see from you that we have not seen before because I literally believe that cannot be anything. Or can be anything. So you haven't seen the film? No, I have seen it, you have. yes. I want to know what you think we haven't seen before. You haven't seen mm. Kevin and Nick P. Oh, together. Woods. Together. Finally. Yeah. Yes. That's <laughs> definitely. You haven't seen Brian and I fight. I think the, the <laughs> that home trips is something that's definitely different for our core fans that do know our, all there is to know about Backstreet Boys. But even we didn't know, and we learned a lot more about one another going to each of our hometowns and seeing how we were raised, meeting our inspirations from chorus teachers to acting teachers to, you know, seeing where Kevin grew up and where he, where his father laid to rest and just, you know, just experiencing that together. We've never really ever done that in 20 plus years, so. Uh, one of my favorite parts of the movie is when you guys are debating the merits of a song. You're like, oh, I don't like the chorus, or I do like the verses and stuff. <laughs> I was wondering, how many of your songs, which I'm sure you've had to sing a million times by now, have you had to come around to really liking? That's a good a question. Of, yeah. 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 I say yeah. a lot of it. I mean, there are five <laughs> individuals true. that have very strong opinions. And different tastes. Uh, and different tastes. And uh, most of the time, we meet somewhere in the middle. But sometimes you, you know, like, there may be a song that I can't stand that all the rest of the guys love and they want on the record and I just have to suck it up and accept that I was outvoted on this particular one. So we've had to do that a lot. It's a democratic uh, institution we have here and that's the way it goes. Any songs that like stuck with you for a little while? Like, oh, I have to really come around on this particular uh, what was song. The one that, uh, I, I was trying to think was about it. And the, the last uh, record? The Up Tempo. What? No. Straight, straight to my heart. No. No? No, it was... Uh, I'll Remember be the one. We, oh no! So, yeah, yeah. Straight to my heart. We could have released "Don't Want You Back" as the next single, or "I'll Be the One." I'll be the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everybody yeah. voted. I'll be the one. I want to go back. Nick, Nick, Nick inspired. No, I just I swayed the audience. audience. He went the he swayed. Nick called TRL and he was like, "Yes, I'll be the one." And we were like, "Well, that's what he asked me." I know. And I was like. <laughs> And it was oh, like, at the time, it was like, up, I, at the time, what was it, like 56 to 57? Yeah, and like, really it needed close. to go, sway one or the other way, so. Sorry yeah, about that. It's all Nick's fault. For the latest from HitBix, visit HitBix.com or download the new HitBix app on your Roku device.